Hey guys, James here again and today I'm finally delivering on a long promised video. Today's topic will be mods. Like a lot of other games, Civ allows players to develop and implement mods in order to change the game in different ways. There are tons out there including game changing mods, but for the purposes of this video I'll only be talking about quality of life and UI changing mods, so none of these will make any changes to how the game is actually played. Also, I'll include any links to the mods discussed in the description below. Before I dive into the mods themselves, I want to quickly jump into how to install mods. For those on Steam, this is quite easy. When you're on the Civ 6 start page, find the workshop button. Once you're in the workshop, there you can form searches or browse through the many mods available. To add a mod to your game, just click on the mod and find the subscribe button, and Steam will download the mod files shortly after. Also, I found out from user Hannibal Barca, great name by the way, who gave directions on how to install mods on Epic Games, so feel free to pause here for details on how to do that. Unfortunately, I don't know how to install them in other stores or on consoles, so if anyone might have any questions or experience with that, feel free to comment below and I'll pin your comment for others to see. So of course, once you have the mods downloaded, start up your game and find the mods section in the menu, and here you should be able to activate whichever mods you like. This of course brings me to my first mod recommendation, and that is... 1. A Mod Manager Concise Mod Manager or Enhanced Mod Manager so my first recommendation of a mod to install would be a mod manager as this helps to improve the UI for activating and deactivating mods. Two I have seen used a lot are the concise mod manager and the enhanced mod manager. These help improve the UI for the mod screen and make it easier to find and organize the mods you want to activate, which is especially helpful if you start installing tons of other mods like custom modes or sieves. Personally, I use the enhanced mod manager and I've had no complaints. Number 2. Quick Start Another mod that I have to recommend is of course the Quick Start mod. This mod essentially allows you to forego the initial 2K and for Axis splash screens and dive into the game as quickly as possible. It's really a small thing, but it's just nice to have and helps to save your ears from the super loud intro noises. Number 3. Sucretax Simple UI Adjustments, CQUI or concise UI. So this next batch of recommendations is for an overall UI overhaul. The three I listed here do a variety of different adjustments to a lot of UI elements, and I'd recommend trying them out or looking more into them to see which you prefer. One thing to note though is that CQUI incorporates aspects of a lot of other mods as well, so CQUI might be a better all-in-one solution, but I have experienced some compatibility issues with it in the past when using other mods. I personally use Sucretax Simple UI Adjustments, so I'll be discussing the changes it makes here. But again, take some time to look into what each of these does and figure out which one you like the best. You might be able to find other mods which can supplement areas which other mods don't cover. So when it comes to the simple UI adjustments, among the adjustments made are the ability for you to hover over a city to see what tiles are being worked on. That way you don't need to click into every city to figure out what's going on. Right clicking on the banner also allows you to quickly manage citizens. The mod also moves the city attack button to the side of the city banner, making it so you don't accidentally click on your unit garrison within the city, rather than the attack button. The mod also gives you far more details when it comes to religion, so you can understand how your religion is spreading. There are a variety of other changes I don't really cover here, especially around tooltips and additional details, but trust me, you can't go wrong with any of these mods. Number 4. Policy Change Reminder Of course, number 4 is the Policy Change Reminder. As you might have heard me lament many times before, one of the most annoying things about the game is the fact that they don't give you a button at the bottom right to alert you that you can change your government policies, similar to when you research a new tech or civic. This mod makes it so that at the end of turns, where your government is open, it gives you a reminder that you can now change your policy cards. This is truly such a great mod and I can't believe something more prominent isn't in the base game. Number 5. Custom Notifications This mod is in a similar vein as the policy change reminder. It basically gives you additional notifications for when city borders expand, city population grows, when your trade deals expire, and also covers some religious changes as well. For some, it might honestly be annoying because who actually reads all the notifications anyway? But for others, I think this mod might be a great addition to those who like to micromanage and play to maximum efficiency. I think it's also just helpful to be more aware of whatever is going on in the game. When in game, you can also click on the notification icon in the top right corner to open a menu to enable or disable notifications. Number 6. Extended Policy Cards This mod is such an amazing addition. 
Basically, what it does is it adds details at the bottom of your policy cards to see how much additional resources you might be getting from certain policies. That way, you can get a real holistic view on how certain cards might affect your sieve, and that way you can also make much better decisions when changing your policies. Number 7. Map Search Extension In case you didn't know, Civ 6 added a map search function which makes it easy for you to find things on the map, such as resources. The map search extension basically adds additional filtering capabilities to the map search function, for example allowing you to figure out what resources are within your own territories or outside of your nation. It also allows you to click on icons to find things such as resources or units, instead of having to search by name, which makes your life a lot easier, especially if you might not remember the name of everything. It's honestly a small thing, but I think it's just so helpful and improves your overall quality of life. Number 8. More Lenses Again, similar to the map search function, did you know that Civ 6 has a lens function which allows you to view the world from different lenses? For example, they allow you to see how religion is spreading in your game, or it also shows you the game's recommended areas to settle. More lenses basically adds a variety of other useful lenses to the game for you to get a better idea of the world around you. For example, some of my favorites are the Builder Lens which allows you to see possible tile improvements for builders, it also gives you the scout filter which highlights goodie huts and does this automatically when you have a scout selected. Some other useful ones are the archaeologist filter which highlights artifacts and shipwrecks, as well as the naturalist filter which shows you potential areas you can set up in national parks. Number 9. Better Trade Screen The Better Trade Screen is a UI mod which improves the trade route screen in the game. Among other things, it allows you to sort the trade screen by yields so you can see which routes might be the best for your goals. It also adds filtering options so you can look at routes for specific civs, city-states, or those with trade requests. It also just provides you with more trade details in general to help you keep track of your own routes, as well as other civs who are trading with you. Number 10. Real Era Tracker Finally, we have the Real Era Tracker. This mod is really only applicable to people with expansions, but basically what this mod does is it gives you an overview screen to see what era score activities you can complete. This is especially helpful if you find yourself close to a dark age, or needing a few more points to get to a golden or heroic age. To navigate to it, find the report tab at the top right and then go to era tracker. The mod sorts activities into three tabs, world, which are activities only one person in the world can achieve, civilization, which are activities which every civ can achieve once in the game, and repeatable, which are activities that you can receive era score from multiple times in a game. The tracker is super useful for tight spots and is a good reference to even just learn about what things you can accomplish within the game. And there you have it, 10 mods to help improve your Civ 6 game and quality of life. Hopefully you found this video helpful, and if you're interested in learning more mods, please feel free to let me know in the comments below. I have tons installed, maybe too many honestly, and would be happy to share more which I find useful. If you enjoyed the video, please do consider hitting that like button and subscribing for more Civilization content. And of course, I hope you have a great rest of your day. Peace.